Body odor, or BO as it's affectionately known, occurs mostly in our armpits. There are a lot of different factors that determine whether it occurs at all, and if it does, what type of odor you have, but the most important factor is bacteria. And when you understand why BO happens, you'll much better be able to prevent it. Hello, I'm Dr. Neil Schultz, and welcome to Durham TV. There are a lot of factors involved in body odor. What you eat, what you drink, what diseases you have, even what medications you take. But perhaps the most important one is your body flora, which means the germs, the bacteria that normally grow on your skin harmlessly. One of those germs is called Karani bacteria. And interestingly, it's the same bacteria that's often involved in acne. Well, regardless of which bacteria you are, in order to grow and thrive, which is what has to happen for body odor, bacteria need heat and moisture to live. They get heat from closed spaces in your body, like under your armpit or in your groin, and they get moisture from the normal eccrine sweat, which is the watery sweat that we make when we're nervous and when we're hot. So on your skin, the two most common locations for body odor are going to be the armpits and your groin. And you probably notice that you don't get body odor on your arm or open areas like your back or chest because moisture doesn't accumulate there, it evaporates, and the bacteria don't live there because it's not warm enough. But there's a third most important factor in determining the occurrence of body odor. And that's a special sweat, which is called apocrine sweat. And for all intents and purposes, it only occurs in the armpits and in the groin. So your carini bacteria, which is happily living in your armpit, makes an enzyme called lipase. And the lipase splits the fats that are in the apocrine sweat into chemicals with very unpleasant odors, and in particular, butyric acid, which is responsible for most of the malodorous part of body odor. Incidentally, there's a second bacteria called Staphylococcus epidermidis, and it makes isovaleric acid, which is equally malodorous. So in your armpits, you have the perfect storm from four factors. You have heat, you have both types of sweat, the eccrine watery sweat and the apocrine sweat with the fat in it, and you have the bacteria. So how do you prevent body odor? Just eliminate these four factors. But you can't eliminate apocrine sweat because it's not under your control, and you can't eliminate the heat of your armpit. But you can affect the moisture you make there and whether or not the bacteria live. You can stop the moisture with an antiperspirant. That's what's there for. And you can stop the bacteria with a deodorant because deodorants kill the bacteria. So that's why antiperspirants and deodorants work to stop body odor from your armpits. Well, you already knew that they worked. Now you know why they work. Please join me again at DermTV.com. If you have a question, please send it to me by visiting DermTV.com slash question. I'm Dr. Neil Schultz, and thank you for watching today.